Hey guys, what's up? It is Would You Rather Friday. Fuck yeah! Oh my god, so excited. What's up, Mr. I Try Hard? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Kelly's channel? Good to be here again. I love Friday. So much work to do, but so much fun to be had. Oh yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a, that was, I was the Kool Aid Man for a second. That's exactly. awesome. I was like, "Well, that's kind of weird," but I, you know, I dig it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I do weird voices here and there. But last week, I think I had this little like bitch fit about how I never ask for likes, and you guys don't like if you don't ask. And you guys gave me like four thousand seven hundred likes, and I cried because I was, I was really moved, and it, it meant a lot to me. And let's see if we can beat it this week. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to feel too good, but if you guys are willing, you know, just toot my horns, the like button. The K-pop <laughs> channel is strong. Show the love, show the support. Yeah, that stuff means so much to us. Like, it's a little thing, but it, it means a lot. And I don't know, we don't get paid for it, I think, but it just, like, it makes us smile. It's actually pretty funny that, like, it's it's the first sign that a video does good, right? Like when the likes go up like crazy, it just it just makes you feel so much. I don't know, it's weird. It just it like that feeling is I think the best for one of uh, for like every YouTuber out there. Yeah, it's like oh my god, they love me, they love me. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the group hugs and the comments are always adorable. So I love you guys so much. I feel so much love for my subs right now. But we've talked too long. Yes. All right, forget the love. It's time to get nasty. Oh shit. <laughs> Would you rather have theater mode while you are having sex, like, you know, like on Call of Duty or Halo, yes. whatever, or forge mode, like in Halo, um, during sex. And forge mode is, you can kind of, like, put things in there, like, oh, I want a car right now, I'll put that in there, or I'll put another person in there, I'll put a drug-infested alien in there, you know, whatever you want to put in there. Drug-infested alien? What kind of sexual fantasies are you into, Kelly? Like, do you have something have to share here? Have you ever had sex with a drug-infested alien? Have you ever? Because if you haven't, I don't want to hear another word. It's a fucking drug-infested alien! How good can it be? Oh, you have no idea. Have you ever seen, like, an abduction scene in, like, one of those sci-fi movies where, like, the aliens, like, they abduct this human? Like, they never treat him nicely. Imagine if they're fucking, like, drug-infested. It's gonna be terrible. They're gonna, like, rape you every orifice possible. It's gonna be disgusting. You don't want that. Mm, Besides the question. <laughs> no, but, all right, so... I, I... This one's hard, man, because I like theater mode. Like, the whole angles and everything. Like, I make my own porn movie. This would be great. But the forge mode is just, like, limitless possibilities of adding different females. You know, having, like... These weird, like, I would have toys everywhere. I don't know why, but I picture a swing set in there for some weird-ass reason. Like, maybe, like, a sex swing would be awesome. I, I could be, I, I could, I could be freaking screwing five bitches and having dinosaurs in the background fighting. I don't know why, but I kind of want that. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, all right, I'm going to make something horrifying appear, like, halfway through. There's going to be this, like, a drug-infested alien. I could have that appear halfway through and just, like, you know, throw Alex off me. Like, fuck this guy. And then there's, like, this major epic battle, and I just get to cheer on, you know, the two men fighting. Well, I guess wait, the drug-infested alien. What? He's naked. Is he going to be fighting naked? Yes! Oh, my. No! You don't want to know. That's, that's super awkward. Because then the penis will touch things. It'll touch the drug-infested alien. He's probably some. Oh my god! You're gonna you're gonna get like drug-infested alien rabies. Oh. <laughs> then I could give them to other people, <laughs> and they will have no idea what to do. No, all right, all right. I want the forage mode, but without the drug infest. I, I just want background scenes that are epic. Like people picture, you know, the beach. You know, a nice sky, sunny, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe, like, on a rainy day. Oh, I don't yeah, know Yeah, you could do public places, too, without, you know, the possibility of getting caught. Or you could get caught, but it could be, like, a fake police officer. Yeah, yeah see, this is great. Uh, yeah, uh, give me the forge. This is, this is, you know, no contest here. Just, like, you know, not any drug-infested aliens. That's just disgusting. Yeah, I've, you've, you've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to do, like, cool places. Like, yes! On top of 
the Sears Tower, like, just looking over at everything. The Great crazy. Wall of China. You can do, like, the Seven Wonders if you wanted to. Yeah, that's seven awesome. awesome. Yeah, why not? Space, you can do it on the moon if you... Dude, this is I great. think you die. No, no, there's oxygen. It's fine. No, there's not. In your, in your forge, there is. What? Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Shit. See? Yes! You can I want to do it on Pluto. You can do it on the sun if you wanted heart. to. Well, that'd be kind of hot. That, no, but remember, right. it would just be as hot as the room is, right? This is a great idea. This is a great idea. Whoever invents that is going to be a rich person. I'll buy it. I'd buy it. All right. <laughs> would you rather stick an ice cream scooper up your anus and then have to work in an ice cream shop all day using the scooper to get ice cream for customers <laughs> and you must invite one of your friends to the ice cream shop? <laughs> okay. This was by a subscriber. And it's epic. Okay. Or would you rather switch bodies with a 70-year-old prostitute for 12 hours and stand on the street corner giving out free sexual play, uh, favors to crackheads, but you won't get any STDs? All right, I'm sorry. This one's easy. Give me give me the ice cream parlor one. I That's mean, what I thought, too. Yeah, think about it. It's, it's just funny. All right, this is just a big-ass prank. Like, okay, you're sticking a freaking scooper up your butt. It's going to hurt. It's going to feel pain for a little while. But then you get to prank everybody because everybody who tastes like the ice cream cones that, that, that you're going to hand out all day are going to be freaking tasting your crap. And that's freaking hilarious. You could record the whole thing, do an epic video about it. I, I don't know. The other one just sounds, ah, it just sounds hoary. It, it'll hurt and people treat you like crap and I don't like being treated like crap, man. I like yeah, people same. tasting like crap. So what I thought of was, you know, obviously I'm going to do the ice cream scooper thing. And I'm gonna. That's gonna be fun to gross people out. Like you're just like taking, you know, ice cream out of your, the ice cream scooper out of your ass, and then picking up <laughs> ice cream with it. And then by that time, they're not gonna want ice cream anymore. And you can just laugh and like throw the <laughs> little scoop at them. <laughs> oh, I was under the, the impression that it it was already out, and you were like pranking them by like not telling them it was in your ass oh, beforehand, really? and then handing them the ice cream cone. And they'd be like, "Oh, this is great ice cream cone. I love this chocolate," you know. <laughs> See, what I was thinking about doing was just, like, putting it back in my ass every time, and then as they approached, and then they oh, told me. Oh, do, you know, do you imagine the pain? Well, you know, I'd probably get used to it. It's pretty big scoop. Um, yeah, but I'd get used to it, I'm sure. I'm sure you can get used to things in your ass. I think you'd have to practice beforehand by sticking smaller things up your butt, like maybe the day before or something. Oh, well, whatever. I think you switch bodies in this case, right? No, that was the that was the prostitute one. Yeah, that was a prostitute. Oh, pro I don't know if I want a loose asshole then. I guess for um, one day it won't be that bad. Like, you know, it's not going to affect you for, like, your long-term living. Like, you'll be able to poop perfectly fine afterwards, I think. Maybe better. <laughs> maybe you'll never be constipated ever again. Who knows? Maybe, maybe this will solve all your bowel syndrome problems. Not, I mean, you know. <laughs> like, I <laughs> If you, if, now everyone thinks no, that I know. I, I, all right, no, problems. I don't know about her. <laughs> I done goofed. <laughs> <laughs> you done goofed. <laughs> all right, all right, let's just go to the next one. All right. No more bowel movement. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a pair of walking testicles or a walking vagina? <laughs> testicles. Testicles are awesome. They're already yeah. moving. Remember. See, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I could be a vagina. It might be funny. People, like, dolphin dive into me and laugh. We'll get a good laugh. But I feel like people would just walk by a vagina and just, like, punch it. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Okay, wait. You don't want to be a testicle. Because it's the most sensitive part of a man's body. Every guy yeah. knows whenever you get hit, even, like, at the slightest, like, bit of, you know, force, your testicles hurt for hours. So, like, people could come up to me and, like... I don't know, like, give me, like, a shoulder bump, like, you know, like, hi, what's up? And I'd, 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 I'd probably hurt for days. It'd be terrible. Yeah, but see, with the walking vagina, I'm assuming it's the whole, like, little, you know, area down there of a woman. Right. So the clitoris is included. That has, like, 2,000 or some crazy amount of nerve endings more than males. Like, right. Including your testicles. So if someone, like, flicks that kind of hard, or, like, say it's a big walking vagina, they just punch it? Holy mm. fuck. But like. you forgot one thing. You could do vagina farts. It'd be epic. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you could do the vagina farts. 
What is that? A foghorn? Like. <laughs> 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 yes. I want that. Okay. Your <laughs> foghorn calls everybody across. He's like, oh, here's Kelly walking down the street again. <laughs> I'm gonna go to libraries and then like sneak up behind <laughs> people and. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing the flap. Like, okay, like this girl's vagina with like, like the like the fucking vagina laps. Wow, wow. Vagina yeah. flaps are like fat. Are like flapping around. It's like I don't know. It's just a hilarious. Yeah, that's scene. what I picture. Oh yeah, they can maybe good. smack some people too. Oh yeah, bitch slap people with your vaginas. Oh yeah, I want to be a walking vagina. Yup, me too. Change my answer. <laughs> All right. Would you rather have a demonic entity in your closet? Like in Paranormal Activity, or a possessed doll that you can never get rid of, like Chucky. Hmm. Now this demonic entity, can I use it? Is it under my control, or is it just there to freak me the fuck out? It's just there to freak you out. I don't want that. I'm. I'm. A, I'm. No. No. I'm not a fan of like. I'm not a fan of scary movies. Like it's not really my thing. And it's just. I don't know. Like the whole. Somebody hiding in the dark with the glowing eyes, and it's like, ugh, I don't know. It's just, no. No. I It just scares me, man. I don't like it. Yeah, I want the possessed doll. But yeah. I mean, it's still going to be weird and freaky and carry knives around and, like, threaten me. But I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take it out in public with me and just have a lot of good laughs, and it'll be a good time, I think. It's still just a doll. Out. Like, you can... I don't know how to explain it, but you can still... Like, you're more powerful than a doll. It's a freaking doll. It's not a... Like, I picture oh, this... You, ent- you just need, like, a shovel or a shotgun. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I just imagine this, like, demonic entity as being, like, some huge, like, demon lord that can kick my ass literally any day that he feels like it. So I, I, I'm, I'm kind of more scared than that than a little doll with a knife. Like, yeah, sure, she can probably stab me. But, you know, if I, you know, keep, keep my guards up, maybe tie her up every time I go to bed, I, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I agree. I think that would work best. Yup. Yup. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any good would you rathers, please message me them, leave a comment, whatever, or twi- tweeter? Tweeter. Twitter. Twitter is a great way to send us would you rathers, or send me, send me would you rathers, because, you know, it's just, it's nice. I can favorite it. It's very convenient. Facebook, it's horrible for that. But uh, hopefully you guys will want to go check out Mr. I Try Hard's channel. We both have a series on there. Well, I visit him on a series called The Vagina Chronicles. Yep. I will link that in the video. You guys should check it out. And uh, do you have anything you'd like to say? Ah, thanks for having me on. I, 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 I love the subscriber questions for some reason. They were just really good. They're much better than the ones we make up. Yeah, we made up the theater mode one. And no, that, 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 that one was good. I liked it. That one was good, but you guys always have some pretty interesting questions. I like that sometimes you guys go really into depth, like that ice cream scooper one. Like, who thinks of that? <laughs> it was so developed. It was, it was good. I like that. Yep. So work hard on your would-you-rathers, and we will choose them. Yep. All right, bye, guys. Bye.